A sunny day, light winds and good tides. It's the stuff that beach driving dreams are made of. There's not really all that much that can spoil a scene like this, but we'll give it a go anyway. If you cast your mind back to the Tarantino classic Pulp Fiction, you'll recall that the whole thing revolved around the contents of a much sought after briefcase. Well, I've got my own little black case, and when four of the owners find out what's inside, I reckon it'll be just as sought after. Arguably, the most vulnerable part of any four-wheel drive is where the car comes in contact with the ground. Although these Coopers are as tough as nails, even the best tyre is still susceptible to damage from things like rocks, tree roots and those self-tapping screws that always seem to find their way into your new set of tyres. Well, we're pretty fortunate today we've got a beautiful clean beach, but that means we're going to have to simulate picking up one of these in our tyre with this thing here. So if you're squeamish about seeing a perfectly good tyre ruined, you better look away now. Though it certainly doesn't bring me any pleasure to do this to a perfectly good STT, I still think it's a valuable exercise to demonstrate the best way to get out of a situation like this. And it's particularly important here, stranded below the high water mark, where a flat tyre's much more than an inconvenience it can actually cost you your car. This is our Speedy Seal kit. You've probably seen me use it before. If you haven't, these are the wicks, and these two little beauties are gonna plug the hole. We need two because it's such a big hole. Actually, we might need more, but we'll have a go. You get 30 plugs in the kit, more than enough to get you out of a few sticky situations, as well as other accessories, including a valve core tool, spare valves, and caps. So 80 or 90% of the time, these speedy seals will get you out of trouble. But what if you've driven on the flat tyre for too long and ruined it? Or maybe torn the whole sidewall out of it? That's when we've got to change to complete tyre and wheel assembly. And that is where that little black box comes in very handy. So, what's in the case? Though it might naturally glow like gold, in a situation like this, it's just as valuable. This is ARB's new portable air compressor which combines our most powerful ever pump with a four litre air tank. Not only is it capable of reinflating tyres, but it can also run high pressure tools, like the drill we used earlier to stop us in our tracks and the rattle gun we now need to get going again. Well, we've got our high tech air compressor, now we're going to go to the other end of the spectrum. Good old fashioned bit of wood. And this is to support the jack, so the jack doesn't sink in the sand. And I mean, you've got a $60,000 car, you've got the tide coming in, this is worth anything. With everything in place, it's just a matter of doing your best V8 supercar pit crew impersonation and getting the spare wheel on. With the compressor primed up, it's possible to have the new tyre on quicker than it'd normally take you to find the wheel brace and with a lot less effort. You can get all the gear we needed today, including the air compressor and speedy seal kit from ARB. Visit the website for all the details and to find your nearest store.